All right. So today we are going to um, model and print one of these. These things are the rubber, well not rubber, they're the, the plastic inserts that you put on the metal shelving that you can find at your, um, you know, home store or like Home Depot or Lowe's. Let's start. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, get some, draw it, like make a model and make some measurements. Okay. So that's probably going to be enough. Now, now we're going to take our calipers and make some measurements. Let's uh, translate this into a 3D model. Let's get started. We're going to start by making a sketch. And we're going to choose the plane where we're going to do the sketch. This is going to be the um, XY. Sorry. Um, and now we're going to make a line, right? L. Since we want an internal diameter of one inch, we're going to want an, a di uh, radius of half an inch, which is in millimeters, since we're using millimeters. It's a 12.7 millimeters. So let's start at the origin here. And then let's do 12.7 millimeters at zero degrees. And then now we have our line. Um, then we can stop our sketch. And then we're going to move to the front and make another sketch here. And then from here is where we're going to design the profile of the, our um, of our design. Well, let's start with the with the height. So the height is going to be um, 43.1 millimeters. All right, so we get that. Let's get a little closer. And then we want the lower thickness, the thickness in the bottom part is around 2.9 millimeters, All right? And then we know that the that there's like gonna be like a little um, chamfer here, I think that's called. Um, so, but we only know the height, right? I don't know the angle. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna make another little line with the di with the uh, upper diameter of the uh, of this piece, which is gonna be 1.8 millimeters and then I'm going to do a um, distance I click D and then I'm going to do the distance between those two spots and that we measured it to be an estimate of 1.9 millimeters right so that's going to adjust that and now we can get another line the shortcut is L and then we're going to join this to this and then now we have this profile because it would have been a little complicated to just make the circle from the bottom and extrude it up we would have had to do a lofting or something like that and that's just gonna make it a little more complicated for us now we're gonna we're gonna need the little lines in the inside that fit into the grooves of the tube so we're gonna do circle um, I just you know the C and then I'm just going to choose like a point here. And then we're on a 0 0.8 diameter. So we're doing that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, now that we have that, uh, we can do back uh, D to get to set the distance. Distance from here to here. We want it to be 3.3 .3 millimeters. Okay, so 3.3. That's great. Now let's go up here. We're gonna want another circle, shortcut C. 
and we also want it to be 0 0.8 millimeters in diameter and then we want the distance shortcut D between these two points to be 14.71 all right so great now we have that done oh of course of course I forgot we want another line from this spot right here to this spot right here right and we don't really need this anymore so we're gonna trim a little bit here get rid of that line here I just got a new mouse so I'm getting used to using the mouse instead of the trackpad um, great Oh, I guess if we're gonna start revolving, we should probably also trim these two. All right, so now we are going to stop the sketch. Now we have that, let's go back to our home. And now we see that we have this sketch in this weird plane, in this plane, right? So what we're gonna do is create revolve and then we're going to choose this surface around this axis around this axis right the z-axis and there we go and there we go now we have what the finished product would look like see we have the little um, things in there right now I realized now that I didn't really need the full circle, right? So in order to change that, we're gonna double click back here, which is the beauty of parametric design, and we only need 180 degrees, right? Let's rotate this around. So we're gonna modify, move this object, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. That way when we home it, then we're at the same spot. All right. Now, we're going to take the pieces up here and down here so that we can um, match it up with the other side. Let's do that. Now, let, in order to do that, let's create a box. I'm going to set it down here. I'm going to start it from here and we want it just to be big big enough on the on this on this line to um, cover this piece but the thickness we're going to go with the thickness that we saw which is that we measured which was um, 5.22 millimeters right so we set that and then the height we want it at 13 Point four six. Well, let's do five to give it a little tolerance. Okay, so that is set. Now we click enter. We have this piece chunked out. Now let us do another another box. So create a box. Same. We're gonna make it here. Start it here over here. Um, same five point two two width and then the height let's make it just let's make it just big so we're gonna make it big and we're gonna just make a new body right and then okay but what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it so shortcut M you gonna select this body and now we're gonna move it up the total distance from the bottom to the top of the of this little piece that we had measured. So that's going to be actually 27.2. So now we have, we have placed it here. Yep. So now we see this and what we can do is go over here and modify. We're gonna do combine. We're gonna select the stuff that we want to keep first, then the, then the other one second. And now we're gonna do cut cut it and now there we go now we have that piece okay so now let's move on to the other side 
Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna make a hole right here, right? So we're gonna get the distance from here. I mean, I could go off of my measurements, but I mean, why do it when we can just go off of this? So I clicked on this side. I uh, held hold shift, click on this side, and now over here it'll tell us the distance between these two edges, right? So three point seven, and we're gonna want some. Um, we're gonna want some um, tolerance. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take our square. We're gonna do create box. Same this angle. Start it from here, and then our width according to our measurements was uh, 6.4 millimeters. Right, hit enter, and then for the height, we're gonna do 14.7. So that's going to give us um, 0.5 millimeter tolerance on each side, right? And now we're going to create a new body. All right, so we have a new body. Now we're going to move it, right? M, click it to move it up. 13, sorry, 13. So this time it's going to be 13.0. So let's just do that. And then now we can combine. Should be a shortcut for combine if I, if I had any say. Combine these two, cut it. All right. Now let us save it into an STL so we can print it. So we're going to click it, uh, select the body, right click, save as STL. Um, we choose how um, dense our meshes are going to be. We don't really need much. So let's do low, let's do OK, let's do models, and then let's save it as a wire shelf clip. Save. I already saved one before, so there you go. All right, now this is saved. Let's go to slice it and print it. That's all for today guys, make sure to stay tuned to find out how we slice it, print it, and how it fits with everything. Thanks for watching.